Algorand literally did the ICO in 2019. So this is why you see this huge uh, hype cycle right here where it went up to $2. And then since then, it started crashing in, during the bear market. And it went down, bottom, it bottomed out around $0.13 cents on March 11th, 2020. So this is its all-time low. If I can, if I, yeah, so it's 10 to 14 cents, but I'm just going to say 13 cents. Um, so since then, it's actually moved up about 14 times. So if you would have invested at, at this price right here at 10 to 14 cents, you've, you've already done like a 10x on, on your investment. There's a lot of coins that have done multiple 100x returns since they're all time low. Like Dogecoin, for example, is a good example of a coin that has got has gone up at least six thousand you know x uh, as a return on, on investment which is absolutely insane this is a six hundred and nineteen thousand percent return if we look at bnb which is even crazier than this if you can believe it bnb which is binance coin since it's all time low it has gone up what is what is this crazy number uh is that seven seven hundred thousand percent so i think this is even higher if you look at in a place that's more accurate than, than coin market cap you can actually see what i'm talking about now not that many people I, that i know of bought binance coin at those prices because if they did holy shit um they could probably send me a few <laughs> like three cents this is the the lowest price the all-time low and so since then it has appreciated about 1.7 million percent as, as a return on investment which is like Oh, that's like a 17,000 X return on investment. If you look at something like all grand, which is going to definitely be utilized because I mean, look at who the founder is. Do you know what you're dealing with? You know what you're dealing with when, when you're buying this coin, do you know what you got yourself into? Um, you're buying the future. You're buying what's going to replace Bitcoin. And this has all been predicted. You know, it's already right there in your face. This is cash of the future. Like the Simpsons episode where they're singing that song about cryptos, about distributed ledger technology. So, look, bro, it, Algorand has only done a 13x, while Dogecoin is here sitting, you know, getting two, 6,000 x returns, BNB getting, you know, 17,000 x returns. You can clearly see the difference between hype and actual utility. Like BNB at least is being utilized, it's an exchange token, but Dogecoin is purely, purely speculation and hype and and most people have to rely on Elon Musk's tweets, let's be honest, for this to go up, for Dogecoin to actually go up in a sustainable way. Otherwise, it's not sustainable and it can crash at any moment. I mean, we've seen recently with the SNL, like people just literally sold, they sold the news. Uh, they, they bought the rumor and sold the news, basically. They were buying it up here, down here at 30 cents. And then as soon as nothing happened at SNL, they're like, yep, I'm selling this. So now we're just waiting until the next Elon Musk's tweet. You know how weird that is? That people have to wait for that, bro, for, for this coin? Now, we're actually buying real utility when we're buying XRP, Algorand, XLM, XTC, HBAR. What I'm showing you right now, comparing all these different coins, why this matters is because these coins are, haven't gone up that much, like BNB or Dogecoin. So, the, so literally, the sky's the limit, you know? If Dogecoin, if BNB can do that, imagine these utility tokens when billions upon trillions of dollars are flowing through those ledgers, bro, it's going to be insane. It's going to make, you know, it's going to make the, these Dogecoin and BNB holders look broke uh, once the real assets are, are come into play and are here to stay. And we know that it's going to happen thanks to regulatory clarity and and um, because it's going to be used, everyone's going to be talking about XRP, Algorand, everyone. So... Um, and then by the time everyone is talking about it, guess what? It's going to be too late. It's going to be too high of a price for most people to be able to accumulate a lot of it. You know, you're going to be buying, or not you, but you know, other people. They're going to be buying Algorand, XRP above a hundred dollars a coin. If anything, dude, <laughs> and that's just that's if they're lucky. If they're lucky to even buy it at a hundred dollars, I don't even think at that price, the majority will be buying it. I think the majority will be buying it at a thousand dollars how crazy this is going to be there people are going to be buying like you know how people buy um fractional shares of tesla and all and apple and all that shit they're going to be buying fractional coins like fractions of an xrp they're going to be buying drops they're going to be like hey i'll send you ten thousand xrp drops hey i'll, I'll send you, here uh let me just let me just buy hundred thousand 
XRP drops, which we all know that's not even close to an XRP coin. There's a, I think there's like a million drops in the XRP coin, which is insane. So people are going to be buying like in drops. They're not going to be able to buy the whole coin because it's going to be way too expensive, especially when it's like ten thousand or thirty-five thousand dollars in price. Um, so that's what I mean by it. people are going to just get priced out. Sadly, but it's going it's going to happen. Um, shouldn't be sad though because they had the opportunity just like we did to buy but they didn't buy they cared too much about spending money on on useless materialistic things or buying hype coins meme coins so they missed out they missed out you know whatever this is what happens this is, this is real life look at look at hbar2 hbar has actually moved up 29x um, so this is a lot you know this is double of what all grand has moved in the past year but still, I think both of these are very undervalued when you compare HBAR and Algorand to even XRP, which, which in the past, um, it's, it's since its all-time low, it's, it's gone up around 59,000%, which is 591x as, as an ROI. So, yeah, when, when you even compare HBAR and Algorand to these to XRP, which has been around forever, uh, you can see how new these coins are. Algorand and HBAR, you can see how brand spanking new they are. And that's great for you and me because that means that that if these coins are going to look like xrp h bar and all grand are going to have a xrp returns and in a, in a bull cycle you know what xrp did in 2017 these coins are about to do that they're about to move up thousands upon thousands of percentages in price not financial advice but you know what's going to happen if you were obsessed over crypto like i am <laughs> if you look at charts every single day for hours you know what you know what's going to happen and that's just speculation Imagine when utility takes place. It gets a hold of these coins, bro. When banks want to buy up your coins, when when institutions want you to lend them your coins because they don't have enough because there's a liquidity problem. There's uh, they need that liquidity, bro. Uh, and there's there's a energy crisis and all this going on. And they need they need cryptos that are carbon neutral. They're gonna need cryptocurrencies that are carbon negative, like Algorand, which is committing to being carbon neutral, and XRP as well, energy web token, XDC, bro coins that don't use any energy at all like they don't use anything all they all they do is just they just exist on, on on the ledger they're just coins that are existing on there that you know you're sending around for fractions of a penny and and it's not like ethereum right now which is costing you a hundred dollars just to send coins bro to a different wallet so you know that's not sustainable that's not sustainable or scalable but this is you know, all grand is each bar is, bro. That's why I like all grand. And and look at this, bro. Do you know what you're dealing with? Silvio, whatever his name is, Macaulay is a professor of computer science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology or MIT. He is the founder of all grand. He is the recipient of the Turing Award in 2012 for his fundamental contributions to the theory and practice of secure two-party computation, electronic cash, cash of the future. That's what it is. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain protocols. So this makes him one of the foremost creators of crypto in the world. So that's who the founder of Algorand is. And this is their website. You can see they, they mean business, bro. If your question is, well, Crypto Slayer, is this actually being utilized? Is it being tested? And the answer is yes. So I'm on the Algorand Foundation website. And it says a settlement, which is CT Element, which is a fintech in Europe. They're joining the Danish. FSA, which is the Financial Services Authority, and this is a regulatory sandbox that's going to test B2B payments execution on the Algorand blockchain. This is very important that you read up on this. I'm not going to go over the whole article, but it's essentially talking about what the co-founder and CEO of Settlement said about Algorand and how it's going to be used for cross-border payments and also how it's going to be deployed first in the food industry. In the food industry over there in Europe, is a 1.2 trillion dollar market it's a lot of money and you know they can also help smes realize their global potential so and then if this is successful in the food market which i think it will be successful because i mean the founder of algorand is a genius i mean he's an mic professor bro i, I already told you who, who we're dealing with uh, you're investing into an asset that it's top tier this is this is blue chip but they're you know looking for ways to to cut the time spent on invoice and payments processing down to zero and also you know cut the cost down to nothing or to a tenth of a penny and what better technology to use than algorand 
So Settlement is a fintech company that enables cross-border trade between SMEs via programmable money. That's what Algorand is. And Algorand is also a proof of stake, which means that you're going to be getting a 5 to 7% return on your investment just from staking this. That's your APY uh, percent. And it just depends on the wallet that you're using to stake Algorand. I actually recommend Exodus Wallet because it's, you know you get the keys to your cryptos. Um, it, it's very easy to stake on there. The complexity apparently is very easy. So you can, you can even buy it on Coinbase and then get a 6.5% return on your investment just by holding Algorand in your Coinbase ex wallet, basically. You don't even have to put it into your wallet. It's just in, um, sitting on the exchange. It's going to make you passive income. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys are loaded up on all grand as well. If y'all enjoyed it, definitely leave a like and comment on it and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Let me know in the comments on what cryptocurrency I should talk about next and I'll definitely get to it. Uh, see y'all later. I'm out.